Okay, which one of you touched my carbon activated French volumizing hair dryer cause I have told you. Shush. We're watching genuine moments. What's that? Uh, only the best new show on TV. Every episode has a bunch of super heartfelt genuine moments. Ha, huh, sounds stupid. You know what, Jennifer? I don't want to be your boyfriend anymore. I want to be your husband. Ah, uh, genuine, genuine moments. moments. Okay, this is actually pretty good. Right, even Caillou likes genuine moments. No, I don't like it. I love it. Ah, uh, genuine, genuine moments. moments. Looks like I got a call from someone at the top of Nakatomi Tower. We gotta go check it out. Okay, guys, now remember, it's probably not aliens, but just in case, make sure. Oh, an alien. No, Boris, it's me, the commissioner. Oh. He doesn't look like an alien. It's worse, it's the city's new police commissioner. I've been dodging this guy's calls for weeks. Well, do not blame it on us like you usually do. Good idea. No. Hey, buddy. Hey, I've been trying to call you for weeks. Haven't you gotten any of my voicemails? Rosie lost my phone. Every time. This guy. Ah, uh, no biggie my guy. So what do you want the commissioner? Wait, your name is the commissioner. Sure, though you could always call me by my real name, Melverb Korthenschitz. So what do you want the commissioner? A horrifically evil criminal just arrived in this town. We call him, Jack the Scribbler, because he scribbles on people's foreheads without them knowing. Come on, it can't be that bad. Oh no? My eyes, my eyes. How tragic. So sad. I thought you said you lost your phone. I said Rosie lost it. Anyway this new villain seems more like a joke villain than scary. Well you may think it's funny now. Which I do. But Jack the Scribbler can strike any time, any forehead, including, yours. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I can't go that high so I'm just gonna start us over. Oh god. Don't worry the commissioner, we're gonna find Jack the Scribbler. Also I have one more question, would you mind? Dang it Malverb, you came on too strong. Natalie Sophia, scribbled. Vice Mayor William, scribbled. Yeah. We've been at this for minutes and we've made no progress. We could get one of those helmets that Leo has. What? Beautiful day outside. Hey they're talking about Jack the Scribbler on the news. We're about to conduct an interview with Regina Peacock, the first victim of Jack the Scribbler. Welcome to the news, Regina. We know this must be tough for you, but please, tell your story. And start it off with, once upon a time. Um. Once upon a time, I was about to leave work when suddenly all of the lights went out and... The lights, they're out. It's happening again. Jack the Scribbler's there. We got to get down there and help them. You guys should go. No you're coming with us. Is Jack the Scribbler still even here? No but I think he left a note. Yeah? And it says, I'm coming for you. Oh no, we're gonna look like him. That wasn't nice at all. Have you guys still not fixed that hole in the ceiling from when Trent landed on the roof of this building? There's a light in the sky. Actually that's just the moon. Again no, it's the commissioner. Maybe he has a lead for us, let's go. Uh, do we have to? Would you rather wait for Jack the Scribbler to return and permanently ruin your forehead? Come on everyone, let's go. Boris. Why'd you call us up here? Because I was starving, cold, and alone up here by myself since you left, so I was looking out across the city, and I saw a guy headed into donut puree and he had a bunch of markers. Whoa, cool. That's gotta be Jack the Scribbler. You guys go take him down and dial you know, stay as far away from that guy as possible. Can't get much farther away than up here with your old pal the commissioner. Anyways, let's go down there and... I'm still stuck up here.
Check out Jack over there. Just sitting around writing about all of his crimes. Yeah, let's go and rub him up. Yeah, and then let's give him some bangs. Okay, that was a good one, let's go. Wait, wait, wait. What? Something about this doesn't feel right. Everyone in here was scribbled on and that guy has a pen it's a perfect fit. A little too perfect. There's only one thing in this world that's a little too perfect and it's me. You're overthinking this. Listen, we didn't even hear the girl on the news full story. All we heard was once upon a time. That's how you know a story is gonna be good. I think we should go talk to her. Maybe she can give us a clue. Fine, you go have tea with her while we handle the real bad guy. But when we're on the news later being hailed as the heroes of this city, we're not gonna mention you, at all. Kalu, what a pleasant surprise. Hey Regina, I have some questions for you. Have a few minutes? Why of course, come on in. Forgive my mess, I just moved in, bad timing. Seems like you and Jack the Scribbler came into town at like, the exact same time. Yes, I'm lucky. So I'm going to ask you some questions from when Jack attacked you. Why of course, Alexa, turn off the music. Turning off music. So, what happened when Jack the Scribbler attacked you? Well, once upon a time, I was about to leave work when suddenly, all of the lights went out. When the lights came back on, I was stuck with this awful scribble. Cool. Is this a left-handed guitar? Yep, I'm a lefty. Interesting. You know who else was left-handed? Jimi Hendrix, genius with a guitar. Yay? Anyway, did you get a good look at your attacker? Yes, he can strike at any unknown moment. Wait, is this you, graduating high school, with the same scribble you have now? Yes, uh, because Jack the Scribbler also attacked me many years ago? Well that doesn't make sense. Unless... You're Jack the Scribbler. No, I'm Regina. Alexa, turn off the lights. Turning off lights. Alexa, turn on the lights. She's only programmed to respond to my voice. Alexa, it's me Regina. I'm left-handed. Turn on the lights. That's a terrible impression. It's not that... But no. If I have to live with a bad haircut, so does everybody including you. Hey guys we really should be looking for Jack the Scribbler. Shush. Josh. Yes after genuine moments that's what I meant. Jennifer, I can't marry you. Without your mother present, so I flew her into town. Ah, uh, genuine, genuine moments. moments. Where has this show been all my life? Guys. Shush. Shush. We're watching genuine moments. Jennifer, my dear daughter, I don't like this marriage, and I also don't love it. I super duper love it. And I super duper love you mommy. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. It is an ah, uh, not a nah. But why are you fighting that lady from the news? She's Jack the Scribbler. It's Regina the Scribbler. Chad I'm sorry, I can't say I do, but I have one more thing to say. This moment is about to be so genuine. No. You monster. For spinning now this, what is wrong with you? Ha ha, it's not so easy to take out Regina the. I can finally take this helmet off. It's been 48 straight hours. What? You might want to leave that helmet back on. Hey look, another spotlight. Oh that cry for help. That's been out there for a couple hours. Why didn't you say anything? Because I don't like the commissioner. Okay, let's go. Thank God you finally answered. What do you want the commissioner? I just wanted to tell you Boris, that I don't want to be your friend anymore. Oh, thank God. I want to be your best friend. Ah, uh, genuine, genuine moments. moments. Hey do you want to build a fort? Uh, not really, I have to go. Looks like we're stuck up here, but at least we got each other. How about a hug? Well, guess I have no other choice. I'm okay. Aw, oh, 
my press.